So I am cooking my way through Julia Child's Master in the Art of French Cooking, and I think I'm making a dent. Welcome back to Jamie and Julia. Oh! <laughs> bon appétit. Today I am making up some pork chops, and uh, this is my first time in the pork chapter. I'm not a big pork eater or ham or any of that stuff, so uh, I've just really not familiarized myself with this chapter. In fact, it's in really good shape. Honestly, I was a kid the last time I had pork chops. You know, I just remember having them around the dinner table or something. And uh, they had applesauce on, them. where the heck is the damn page? Oh no, 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 no. It's the beef bourguignon. You wanna hold on to that one. Casserole sauteed pork chops. So first things first, you gotta start with a marinade for the pork because it's gonna be more tender and have a more interesting flavor if it receives a marination before cooking, although it's not an essential step. I find it to be essential today for my purposes because you know I want it to be more tender and have more flavor. There's three different marinades to choose from and I'm opting for this is our favorite. Salt marinade with herbs and spices. Coming right up. Thank you. So remember, for only two pork chops, so I need a teaspoon and a half of salt, quarter teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, half a teaspoon of dried thyme, just a quick cameo from our friend Morty here, quarter teaspoon of a bay leaf. So I guess just rip one in half and does that work that way? Doesn't really, it needs to be ground. I think I'm gonna need more bay leaf because that ground it up into nothing. Okay, I don't find that helpful. How do you grind up a bay leaf? I'm just gonna finally chop it up. Quarter teaspoon of ground up bay leaf. Ugh, really good thing I picked up the allspice for today, which is just a pinch. But I'll use a little more for good luck. And an optional clove of garlic mashed. Of course. Mix that all together. Get our lead actors over here. Our two pork chops, about an inch in thickness. The recipe is for six pork chops. Obviously, I'm dividing that in three. Divided in three, yeah. First thing I noticed was how inexpensive pork chops are. Four and a half bucks for this, and that's in New York. When you're comparing it to beef, it's like night and day. I wonder why. So pigs breed incredibly quickly, are easy to raise, and don't require as much input as something like a cow. So first I gotta dry these suckers off. Take the marinade and rub onto the surface. Place in a covered bowl. Oh, can I use the reusable stuff today? Nope, okay. If the meat is refrigerated, increase the minimum marination time by at least one third. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna use the fridge. This is gonna marinate for a minimum of two hours. Six to 12 is even better. So two hours for today. If I was gonna make this, if I wasn't filming, I need to turn the meat two or three times during the marinade. So I guess it's just like rotate it around. All right, this is gonna be left out on the counter. Wow, she ain't lying. These are much more tender than when I started. So now I gotta scrape off the marinade and dry the meat completely. These gotta be room temperature. So if they weren't marinating on the counter, then they would have to sit out here for like 30 minutes. Originally, I thought I was gonna have to cook this like a steak, like medium rare, which is, is a way to cook pork chops, as I have read, but not today. Today, we got something else in store. Cast iron skillet. Okay, that is like a tablespoon of lard. Uh, you could add oil if you want, but I, I picked up some lard. And I got about a quarter teaspoon of it on my finger. And now I have it all over both of my hands. It's like a moderately high heat. So that is nearly smoking. So I'm gonna add my chops and I'm gonna brown them three to four minutes per side. Turn the fan on now. Here we go. Remove the chops. Turn off the heat. Okay, remove the fat. Get the heat back on to what it was. Half an ounce of butter. Optional halved clove of garlic. One, two. Return the chops. 
Overlapping slightly, he says. Awkward. Okay, baste them with the butter. I think what I'm gonna do also is rub this optional garlic around the surface as well. Cool. Oh, don't forget to baste. I have no idea for how long, I gotta check the book. Is this overlapping thing working for everyone else? Yeah, it's done. So cover with a lid that's gonna fit. Heat until the meat starts to sizzle, but it's been sizzling the whole time. That is sizzling. Place in the lower part of a preheated oven. 325 degrees Fahrenheit. 25 to 30 minutes. All right, so about halfway through, Turn them around, rotate them, baste them, baste them some more. And back in they go to finish the job. Remove the chops. So the chops will have rendered some juices during their cooking. Remove all but a tablespoon. Heat goes on, high. One eighth pint around, I can't remember, 60 milliliters of beef stock. Got to boil that rapidly and scrape up all the coagulated coagulation until I have around one eighth pint. So I think what I am going to do today is add the pork chops back into the pan. So I'm gonna cover them up with the sauce, but I'm just gonna leave them in the pan today just because there's nothing else to go along with these things. That should be it. Order up. This is pretty damn good. Two pork chops, gone. I just demolished the damn thing. I gotta give a really special shout out here to the salt marinade with the herbs and spices. It did as a promise, tenderized the pork and accentuated the natural flavors. I can't sum it up better than that. You want a weekday meal with some like inexpensive meat? There you go, pork chops for the win. You get some greens on the plate, some vegetables. You're gonna be laughing. That's a great dinner right there. I mean, you can always cool it with the butter a bit, you know probably could a little bit. It was a little boy Jamie eating his pork chops. That's what it reminded me of, bringing me back to my glory days. I think I will make pork chops again. Oh, these names right here, my Patreon supporters. Uh, if you wanna sign up for this, uh, there's a link in the description. It is a way to support the show. It helps keep it going and there's different tiers involved. So, uh, you know, if it just there's a link in the description if you wanna check it out and see what it's all about. Feel free, um, feel free. <laughs> this is Jamie and Julia. Bon appétit. Au revoir.